Hello, and welcome to episode 6 of my Undertale True Pacifist <laughs> playthrough. It's the uh, only one I plan on doing for certain, and uh, I might mess around a bit optionally, possibly. I don't know. I'd be bringing it up, but I'm not sure if it'll uh, happen. But, like, messing around with the files to just to get some silly nonsense. <laughs> but, uh, maybe it'll happen. But, uh, yeah, this, certainly there's this one full uh, proper just playthrough of it normal here true pacifist uh, route here and uh, I'm enjoying it hopefully uh, able to enjoy I'm trying to do voice stuff as best I can of voicing you know major enough characters here Whew, what to do now uh, this is all these six episodes so far I've been all in one video recording <laughs> session so uh, this is gonna be the last one for this session and then I can rest my voice a little <laughs> before the uh, next episodes anyways uh, sorry uh, Human, allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another past a lover, the admiration for another puzzle, another's puzzle-solving skills, the desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings, they must be what you are feeling right now. I cannot. Bleh, sorry, I can hardly imagine what it what it must feel like to what it must be like to feel that way. Sorry. <laughs> After all, I am very rich. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not. You shall be lonely no longer. I, the great papyrus, will be your... No. No. This is all wrong. I can't be your friend. You are a human. I must capture you. Then I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful, popular, prestigious. That's Papyrus, the newest member of the Royal Guard. Papyrus blocks the way. Sure. <laughs> we'll go with that one. <laughs> what? F flirting? So you finally revealed your ultimate feelings. Well, I'm a, I'm a skeleton with very high standards. I can make spaghetti. Oh no! You're meeting all my standards! <clears throat> it's hurting my throat. I guess this means I have to go on a date with you! Let's date later, after I catch you. Papyrus is thinking about what to wear for his date. Oh no! Let's date! Later, after I capture you! I guess I'll just start picking a spare when I don't need to heal at this point. <laughs> Papyrus is thinking about what to cook for his date. So you won't fight. Then, let's see, let's see if you can handle my fabled blue attack. Very dangerous, buddy. You're blue now! That's my attack! <laughs> You're blue now! You're feeling a little... The music kicks in. I love this music. Hmm, I wonder what I should wear. I haven't done this this much. Papyrus dabs marinara sauce behind his ear. <laughs> Get silly di dialogue with the in-between turns here. What? I'm not thinking about that date thing. Stop. Boom zone. Papyrus dad's MTT brand Bishi cream behind his ear. Yeah, don't make me use my special attack. Papyrus dabs MTT brand anime power behind his ear. I can almost taste my future popularity! Whoa! Well, <laughs> it's stuck up on me. I came so fast. I forgot there's another bone. <laughs> Papyrus dabs MTT brand cute juice behind his ear. What the hell is cute juice? <laughs> Papyrus! Head of the royal go head. 
head of the royal guard, I get blindsided by a bone again. I hate when that happens. <laughs> one of the biggest voices. Still, I'm the one who got hit. <laughs> Virus dabs MTT branch. Everything's MTT branch. Like, <laughs> Attraction slam by the view. Papyrus, unper unparalleled Spegator. Spegatory? Be on alert. Be on alert. I could have stayed in the middle and like both sides would have passed me and then the double for you. Anyways. Papyrus dabs MTT brand beauty yogurt. <laughs> beauty yogurt. <laughs> Behind his ear. There's so many things going on. This is an imaginary ear. And, and I will be will be really proud of me. Papyrus realizes he doesn't have ears. Right. Just to go on the side of his head, backish, side of the side of behind where the ear would be. In. The king will trim a hedge in the shape of my smile! Yeah, that didn't work out. They're moving too slowly for them to pass by me while I'm jumping over them. Ugh, I feel like Papyrus is preparing a bone attack. Aren't they all bone attacks? My brother will! Well, he won't change very much. I'm sucking. I am below max, normal max health. Now. <laughs> Actual max health. Papyrus is rattling his bones. <laughs> I'll have lots of admirers! Like gravity freaking mode. Smells like bones. Smells like the bone zone. Will anyone like me as sincerely as you? I need to do better at this. Maybe. <laughs> Too many times. Oh. Oh, that was better. Papyrus is rattling his bones. <laughs> Someone like you is really rare. Oh, I got hit again. I'm gonna heal after this, I think. Mm, I guess I can go on the turn. And dating might be kind of hard. No? Papyrus is considering his options. So yes, dating might be really hard. What happened? Bicycle. Bicycle. Whatever. <laughs> your HP is maxed out. After you've been ca after you're captured and sent away. After you're captured and sent away, I'm right now. Sorry. <laughs> Keep making stupid noises. Ooh. <laughs> oh goodness. Alright. Smells like bones. Still. It's gonna continue. Smell like bones. Get over it. <laughs> Arrgh, who cares? Give up! Papyrus whispers, <laughs> Give up or face my special attack! I'm so bad at these, oh god. Smells like bones. Yes! Yeah! Very soon I'll use my special attack! So why didn't want to start this fight in the previous episode? It's kind of a long fight. I... Papyrus is trying hard to play it cool. Uh, I'm gonna risk it and then uh, go again. Not too long and I will use that special attack! I need to keep going on about it. Oh! Way too soon. Uh, okay, I'm in a good range for using an item again. Papyrus is preparing a bone attack. Now it's a unicycle, unicycle, uh, unicycle. You eat it, you eat the unicycle. You recovered. 11 HP, which is almost perfect. Before it was, this time it's not short. short. It's still, this is your last chance before my special attack! Okay, this time for once, please. One, one time. Oh. Good. 
good, good. Pius is rallying the bones. Behold my special attack! What the heck? That's my special attack! <laughs> hey, you stupid dog! Do you hear me? Stop munching on that bone! Hey, what are you doing? Come back here, let's come back here with my special attack! Oh well. I'll just do the really cool regular attack. A Paris is getting ready for a regular attack. This is a really long regular attack, as I recall. <sighs> Here's an absolutely normal attack. Yep, already got hit. Please don't lose here. Please don't lose at the end. Above and beyond. <laughs> Just at that part. I keep holding up. And you don't keep going up. Just at that one part. Whew! It's a relief to get through this one. <laughs> well, it's clear you can't defeat me. Yeah, I can see you shaking in your boots. Therefore, I, the Great Papyrus, elect to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now's your chance to accept my mercy. Then you can, then if you're nasty, you can betrayal kill at this point. If you're, like, doing neutral or something. <laughs> but, uh, nope. No, no such thing. There is, but not for me. Not here. Not ever in recording. <laughs> Yo ho ho! I can't even stop someone as weak as you! And that's going to be disappointed in me. I'll never join the Royal Guard, and my friend quantity will remain stagnant. What should you say? Let's be friends. What a loser. <laughs> I've never. Let's be friends. Really? You want to be friends? With me? Well then, I guess. I guess I can make an allowance for you. Wowie! We haven't even had our first date! <laughs> and I've already managed to hit the friend zone! <laughs> Who knew all I needed to make pals was to give people awful puzzles and then fight them? You taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass through. And I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us all on the ground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit. Except someone with a powerful soul. Like you! That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. Then call... Then us monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you will have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters. He is, well, he's a big fussy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. I'm certain if you just say, Excuse me, Mr. Dreamer, can I please go home? He'll guide you right to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have that date. <laughs> Walking on air. Maybe, maybe slightly long, but... I do need to fit it in for True Pacifist. Maybe in this episode before proceeding to Waterfall, i just go and have the day. <laughs> I think I'm going to do just that. Oh, excuse me. And that'll be it for this recording session. <laughs> after this big finish. <laughs> More Papyrus voice until I you know, get away from it mostly there for a while. <laughs> But it's been, it's been fun though, it's a fun one. <laughs> so, you came back to have that date with me! You must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of time. Let's see... <laughs> My house! My house!
trying to do a thing here. I can't feel my legs. That must mean I'm being a great host. <laughs> I should talk to him before, so I get normal dialogue, and then freaking <laughs> this. That's uh, better. I want to get the dialogue from making him run a bunch. <laughs> this is my brother's pet rock. <laughs> Seems like a boring pet. I thought fish were meant. <laughs> like goldfish or something. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. It's a donut with sprinkles. Impressed, I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bounds under it. Take a look, see. What? Catch that meddling canine! Curses! Sans! Stop plaguing my life with incidental music! <laughs> my brother... My, my brother goes always goes out to eat, but... Recently, he tried baking something. It was like a quiche, but filled with sugary, non-egg substance. How absurd! There's an, there's an empty pie tin inside the oven. Inside the, inside the stove, sorry. That's the trash can! Feel free to visit it any time. Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. Interested in my, in my food museum? Please, peruse my culinary art show. Half of the fridge is filled with containers that all live with spaghetti. The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. <laughs> Great diversity. It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sans, Sans, pick up your, pick up, please pick up your sock. Okay. Don't put it back down. Move it. Okay. You move it two inches. Move it to your room. Okay. And don't bring it back. Okay. It's still here. Didn't you just say? Didn't you say just? Didn't you just say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it! Oh, it's my favorite game show. It says stay tuned for a new program, MTT. What? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode. Don't judge me. You touch the couch. It makes a jangling sandwich. You find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. You got 20G. I really need to get... Uh, this is more optional stuff, but I need to... Alright, I'll check the bone thing here. A classic image. It always reminds me of what's important in life. I mean, it's pretty important. <laughs> That's my room! If, you, if you've finished looking around, we could go in and do whatever people do when they date. Go inside. Yes. Sorry, it's gonna run a little late. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, those are all attacks I use on you. Great memories, huh? It seems like it was only yesterday. Even though it basically just happened. Yep, really did. The internet! I'm quite popular there! I'm just a dozen away from a double digit follower count. How does that work? You're like negative two? I'm just a dozen away from a double digit follower count. That's impressively bad. Cool. Interesting math there, buddy. Of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona. Always sending me bad puns in a goofy font. Sans. Sans. <laughs> Is it that flag in Neho? Undyne found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well... I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. Well, they consist of skeletons. Yeah. I'd love to freaking cover more of this stuff, but it's already about to hit 20 minutes. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to cliffhanger this shit. I just want to fit this in here. <laughs> so, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Begin the date? Yes. Okay, dating start. <laughs> dating start. Here we are, on our date! I've actually never done this before. But don't worry, you can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. I 
last night with an official dating rulebook from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one. Press press the C key on your keyboard for dating hunt. Really? Friday. Population. Wowie, I feel so informed. I think we are ready for step two. Step two. Ask them on a date. Ahem! Human, I, the great Papyrus, will go on a date with you! Yes, you will. Really? Wowie! I guess this, I guess that means that's time for part three! Step three! Put on nice clothes to show that you care! Wait a second. Wear clothing. A bandana around your head. You're wearing clothing right now! Not only that, earlier today you were also wearing clothing. How oh, could it be? You wanted to date me from the very beginning? Yes. <laughs> no, that's weird. No, you planned it all. You're way better at dating than I am. No, your dating power. <laughs> Date power. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't think you've messed at me yet. Tension is rising. I, the Great Papyrus, have never been beaten at dating. And you've never beaten. You've never dated before. So, you haven't had a chance to be beaten. <laughs> and I never will. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I too can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes. <clears throat> Just in case something, uh, just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold! <clears throat> yeah, what do you think of my secret style? I love it. <laughs> oh, a genuine compliment. <laughs> However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you said is what you what you just said is invalid. This date won't escalate any further unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. My hat? My hat? My hat! Yeah! Oh, well then, you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just for you. Open it. Do you know what this is? Of course. Spaghetti. That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right! But oh so wrong. This ain't any plain old pasta. This is an artisan's work. Silken spaghetti, finely, and finely aged in an oaken cask. Then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. Eat it. You take a small bite. Your face will flexibly scrunch as a... Oh, it tastes indescribable. What a passionate expression! You must really love my cooking! And by extension, me! Maybe even more than I do! Oh! No! <laughs> Bring it. Sorry, it's a longer one, this episode, but oh, please don't mind. Human, it's clear now! You're madly in love with me! Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time I, that I told you, I, Papyrus, I, um, boy, is it hot in here or is it just me? Oh, shoot. Human, I, I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought because, that because you flirted with me, that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the great Papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. A dark prison of passion was no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait, that's wrong. I can't fail at anything. Human, I'll help you through these trying times. 
I'll keep you. I'll keep being your cool friend and act like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for a second best. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime. Platonically. Well, gotta go. Yeah. <laughs> I, I do gotta go. Alright, it's running late, but... Ring, ring. Wow, it only took you four seconds to call me. You must be very desperate for my help. Oh, do not fear. This is Papyrus's hot full helpline. Just describe your location and I will describe some hot tips. So, where are you? You're still in my room. Have you heard of something called a door? Wait, don't worry. I'll draw that. I'll draw a diagram for you. Mm. All right. <laughs> Be doing that everywhere. <laughs> Alright, um, <laughs> sorry, this one, try, I try to have them be closer to, you know, it's gonna be 20 something minutes, but, uh, <laughs> I try to have them be closer to, uh, 20, 25, anyway, minute range. This one's a little longer, but, uh, <laughs> Oh, but that was that was a good one. That's a, that's a good finish for this recording session. Now I need. To, I'm glad to have that out of the way. I enjoyed it, but I'm glad to have that out of the way for the sake of my vocal cords. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll see. Um, I'll continue this uh, next, next recording session here. Uh, I guess I can talk through a few things here real quick. All that gives my life validation is explaining the echo flower. No one can know. Never trust a flower. That's one of the constants of this world. Yeah. <laughs> I've talked to it before, anyone else says any words of it, and then the last words will be that. <laughs> Yo! Are you sneaking out to see her too? Awesome! She's the coolest, right? I wanna be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my don't my don't tell my parents I'm here. Haha. <laughs> The sound of rushing water fills you with determination. Waterfall checkpoint. Alright, awesome. That's going to do it for this video and this recording session. So, um, yeah. So, uh, sorry again, it's running awfully close to 30, but it's all in the confines of 20-something minutes sir, here so, still so far. So, uh, that's good at least. <laughs> um, but yeah, hopefully you were able to enjoy this one. It's a uh, bit longer one. I just had to fit it in. <laughs> It's the last one of the, the recording sessions, so I really had to get out of save point. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you were able to enjoy this one. It was uh, pretty fun, I think. <laughs> I feel like. Uh, sucked at the, bo the boss fight a little bit there, but uh, you know, I got through it. <laughs> With one whole bicycle. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, um, yeah, if you did enjoy it, uh, please give a like, let me know, and uh, help other people be able to have it come get into their recommendations and uh, so they may also enjoy it and uh, subscribe if you like to catch more of my video gaming content and uh, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and or night stay safe take care and goodbye for now <laughs>